What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Beyond the V video. My name is Owen and on the last week's video we talked about recording vocals and some of the pickup patterns but today we're going to be talking about the five common mistakes that beginners do when they start out recording at home. So these five common mistakes if you solve them it's going to honestly take your, your recording shifts from like a five to a ten so quickly. We're just going to talk about those real fast and let's just get into it. So the first common recording mistake that a lot of beginners make is throwing a whole bunch of effects on their master output channel. When I say throwing a whole bunch of stuff on their master output channel isn't a bad thing, but doing it too early on into your recording is a bad thing. For instance, I'll see a lot of people start slapping on compressors and EQs onto their master track when they haven't even finished recording, you know, their guitar. This is going to give you an inaccurate representation of, you know, the sound levels and the actual tonality. It's just going to be telling you all the wrong things because it's going to be enhancing it, it's going to be changing things. You don't want to be doing that. You don't want to be slapping things onto the master channel until you're right before the mastering stage of your song. Next most common mistake that a lot of people make is their signal to noise ratio. Talking about, you know, the signal to noise ratio, what I'm talking about is when you're recording, you know, your microphone, your recording level is so low that when you're bumping up the volume, you're really gonna get all that nasty, nasty noise that you really don't wanna be hearing. Easiest way to fix this is just to make sure that your input level of your microphone or your guitar or whatever you're recording is solid. It's coming in at like, you know, that minus 12 dB level, and that's gonna allow you to have a lot of movement. It's common mistake number two. Three. The third most common mistake I see is a lot of the times I see uneven left and right recordings. You recorded a guitar and a lot of times you want to double that guitar part, but what you'll do is you'll rec record the first guitar part at a certain level and then you'll adjust the gain for the second one. And that way, when you start to pan your instruments, you know, the left side or the right side is going to be a lot heavier um, than the right side. Name of the game is consistency. So if you're recording one guitar one way, just make sure that you know you, you keep the same game level and you know you keep the same practices across the board. Fourth most common recording mistake for beginners is using too much reverb. Reverb is awesome. I love it just as much as the next guy, but you know, using too much is just gonna make your recording sound super muddy and unclear. The way to figure out whether you've got too much reverb or the right amount of reverb is you know put some reverb onto the uh, instrument track and then remove it and if it sounds you know like it fits into the mix with it and then you take away and it sounds like something is missing that way you know you got a good amount last most common mistake a lot of beginners make is not letting their instrument recordings ring out when I'm talking about ringing out I mean like you know hitting that last note of the song and cutting the recording before the instrument has totally rung out and you can't hear. Let it all fade out. It allows for smoother transitions, you know, it, it doesn't cause that poppy change that you hear in a lot of, um, you know, amateur recordings. If you listen to the pros and you listen to stuff on the radio, everything is smooth and everything seems to make sense. So the way you're going to do that is if you let your instruments ring out so you get that whole fade. One more time for the people in the back who may have not heard, consistency is the name of the game. Okay guys, that's all we're going to talk about for today. If you want any more information on the Beyond the Beat Music School and Studio, I'll put their information down below. If you guys have any questions on, you know, some more recording things, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to check them out. Okay, guys, be sure to check in for the next video next week. It'll come out Thursday at 11 a.m. each week and just make sure to tune in. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. All right, guys, I'll catch you later and have an awesome day.